I know what you like. You like when magicians take cards, they place them in the right hand for no discernible reason. They then place them back into the left hand, but this time sticking out a little bit, and then wave their hand over the actual card itself and it changes. You like that sort of stuff because you're disgusting and easily predictable. But today I'm gonna to show you just that, exactly how to do this longitudinal color change that uh, I'm sure you're gonna be able to take to your friends and family and show them that you've never seen a vagina. Now also for some reason I found that people enjoy seeing feet in these videos. So because of that I decided to show my feet for the majority of this tutorial. So uh, you do whatever you want with that particular bit of information. So the first thing you're gonna need to do is a double lift. Now personally, I like this double lift that lets the ladies know that they're in for a night of disappointment. So you can do whatever double lift you want, but ultimately you're gonna take the card and you're gonna hold it in your right hand like this. Now this is of course a double card. These are two cards that I'm holding as one. Now I do recommend using cards that have a slightly thinner finish than these Bin Wang playing cards that are about as thick as your boy's dick. So you might wanna use some thinner playing cards so it doesn't stand out quite as much. But I'm showing you that you could even do this with these terrible playing cards. So what's gonna happen is you're gonna hold these cards in your right hand, and as you're gonna place it here sticking out like this, what's gonna happen is I'm actually gonna steal this bottom card in what's known as a longitudinal Tenkai Palm. I know, this seems like a very difficult move. That's because it is. But with some practice, you're gonna be able to do this and get the card in this particular palm. Now look at the properties that this palm allows you to have. Open fingers, right, my fingers are open, and it allows me to hold that card in place with my thumb. So I could hold this card like this, ready to take this card. So one more time what's happening here is I'm just gonna push that card with my fingers as I press it out jogging it directly in front of the participants. Now here is where the magic happens because I'm just simply gonna allow that card to be placed into that longitudinal Tenkai palm just like that. Now as I take this card with my left thumb, look at what's happening, I'm just coming along with this card. Now a number of things are gonna happen at the same time. Firstly, this card is sticking out approximately, I would say maybe six inches. Six inches is what that card is sticking out. So as I come in with my right hand, with this card in this uh, longitudinal Tenkai palm, this card, the bottom, is gonna be aligned with that lowermost portion of the card. At the same time, I'm coming in with my pinky and making sure that my pinky is coming across that upper edge of the deck as I wave my hand to actually align the cards and make sure that they're actually together the entirety of the time of the color change. And now I could just come in, wave my hand, and make it look like that card has changed. So from that longitudinal Tenkai position, one more time, we're gonna come in, we're gonna square the card up, we're gonna make sure that it's aligned with the pinky, we're gonna come down, and that card is going to apparently change into a different one. Now at speed, that just looks like this, just like that, dropping off the card, squaring it up on the top and the bottom, and now you're left in a position where you have a double card here. So now at this point, you could just simply grab the card, turn it over, and then do whatever fancy double lift you want to show the fact that it's just a single card. Or if you want, you could just take the card like this. See this, I'm coming in in this scissoring fashion. So now I could simply take this card and turn it back face down as I flip it in a nice little bit of a, little bit of a flourish back on top of the deck. So this just looks like it's just one single card, but of course we know that it's two cards. But now you could just turn this over and accept your applause. You're sitting on the couch, you're watching magic tutorials, and your life is passing you by. You keep procrastinating. Maybe I'll go to Pig Cake Magic Academy next year. Maybe I'll do it next semester. No, do it right now. They'll work with you before work. They'll work with you after work. You can do whatever you need to do to graduate. Go talk to someone right now. They could help you. You spend all day on the phone anyhow. Why don't you make a phone call that's actually gonna be good for your future? All you have to do is pick up the phone and check out the Pig Cake Magic Academy. Why you make it complicated? It's easy. What a fun color change though. You do your little fancy double lift, you show the card, you place it, you then do the actual color change itself. You could do the little recovery at the end to show the fact that it's just a single card. And guess what? Everyone around you knows, whoa, man. Do you need help? Are you someone that needs help right now? How desperate are you? Now the angles are a little bit sensitive for this particular color change. You wanna make sure that you use your hand as a blocker 
right? You're not necessarily just doing this out in the open because they will see the movement. They will see the movement of you taking that card into the other hand. And then it's not going to be much of a color change as it is a removal and a replacement. So keep that in mind when actually doing this. If you decide to do it in public, if you do it for a camera, you just redo it. Just do it. Just do it a hundred times and then cut until you find the right one like everybody else does. So that's the video. I hope you guys enjoy it. I hope you guys perform it. Hope you guys do all the things that people do when it comes to uh, videos like this, right? They share it, they might uh, perform it and then go, hey, where'd you learn that? And then you send a video over and then somebody else learns it, right? So it's a nice reciprocal community of people that are like-minded that are enjoying the content. And then I get the benefit. I reap the benefit of um, being part of that circle because then YouTube promotes my video more. So keep that in mind. And uh, I hope to see you on the next one. A little bit of advice here at the tail end of the video. Uh, I've been eating non-fat, sugar-free, low-calorie yogurt, and it's uh, really good because it's uh, high protein. You might wanna have a lot of protein in your diet because then that contributes to muscle growth and a reduction of fat. So little tip there.